flight, just parking up the car at the airport. It's about quarter to nine. Heading off to Melbourne today to go play the Ducks um, today and tomorrow. So we'll get all our gear set, um, jump on the shuttle bus and head over to the terminal. So remember we're in L for Larry. Larry the Lion, so we don't lose the car. Yeah. So here we are in Melbourne. Uh, somehow I've ended up with my own room, which isn't too bad. We've got about 15 minutes to hang out and then we're gonna head down the road, get something to eat, and then our game's in about three and a bit hours. Really keen to get on the ice at Ice HQ. Like I played there a little bit uh, back when I lived here. Um, it's a pretty nice rink. It's actually an old Dallas Stars training rink. Like they put the boards and the glass and everything into a shipping container and sent that over here and they reassembled it. So it's a pretty good rink. Playing against the Ducks, they're seven and one this season. So they're on a bit of a tear. Um, we're obviously 0 and 8 or 0, 7 and 1. It's gonna be a good game. The boys have been firing this week at training and uh, yeah, can you get out there? there first, but he's being chased by Vrilnik. Tish with speed, still with it, shot, scores! There you go! Tish, quick, into the zone, snaps that one. Far side there over the blocker of Dane Davis, and we've got a one nothing hockey game in the, in the first period. So here comes Dawes over the blue line, cuts in front on the backhand, looks in front, shot, scores! And it took him only a few seconds. Dawes with the backhand pass into Dixon and he puts the puck in the net and we're all knotted up. Shot, sorry, for one versus 10 to one. So at the moment, the battle of the goaltender is going, to, going to Davis. What a deft touch. Look at that by Dixon. You know, many would try to put that the other way, but that was just a deft touch to put far into that corner. Squirts out though here for Rye. Rye now finds Kulishev. So here comes Kulishev, one on two. Takes it to the backhand, brings it in front. Save there, shot, scores! Ivan Kulishev, or Dmitry Kulishev with the goal on the rebound. For the second yeah, did it. But that's those second and third yep. efforts, right? Look yeah, at that, he's able to keep watching the puck. To the coast, have the puck in their own zone. First one in for the Ducks is Dawes, and he intercepts it, so here's Dawes in the slot for Webster, back to Dawes, slot, scores! What a play! Hayden Dawes intercepts the puck and give and go with Liam Webster, and we've got another tie game. That was a beautiful passing play there by the Ducks. No chance for Monroe. Intercepted it, getting back to Bennett, who takes the shot, deflected. Nice save by Monroe. It's now in the slot, Rodo with another shot, another save, scores! There we go, Hector Vrilnek. Monroe made maybe three or four saves there, but couldn't stop the last one by Hector Vrilnek on the rebound. Makes another kick save, but that just kicks straight out to Vrilnek. Looks doing a good job of just negating any offensive push here from the coast. They seem to be hitting their rhythm. Puck comes over to Webster, sends it in front, shot, scores! Liam Webster over to Hayden Dawes. The Ducks now a little bit with their confidence up. They're starting to get a little bit fancy and get, and certainly that was a beautiful shot through uh, Munro's five hole. Wasn't much he could do about it, but the setup to that was a beautiful piece of cross ice work. Yeah. Puck's loose, Harmadi with it, but uh, hit there by, by Carpenter. So Puck now comes out, winds up for Goris, scores! There we are. So we've got a power play goal with Emil Goris putting the puck in the net. And we've got a 4-3 hockey game. To the coast. So here come the coast now. Costa, nice job by Dixon who came out of the box. Dixon drops it for Gallagher, shot! Holy moly, what a goalie! 
Tom Monroe with a glove save on a great opportunity there for the Ducks. Dawes and McMahon will now send it back to the big man here on the point. He sends a shot there. Dixon just uh, couldn't get that in and here sends it there for Carpenter. Carpenter reverses it over to, to McMahon. McMahon with a shot deflected. Cutter saved by Monroe. What a poke check. Oh man, Monroe. Take a look at this though, right? Makes the first save and, uh, and then that rebound comes out. Look at that. Boom! Just comes across with the stick. What a save, Monroe. And Vrolnik now wins it. He has it, sends it, but nice job by Goris to keep it in there on the near wall in front of the bench. Goris the shot, scores! Power play goal! Emil Goris, his second in the game, and the Coast have tied it up. Yeah, so this might be it. He's got Tish skating in front. Nice job there by Robertson to prevent the pass. Strenad still with it though, takes it behind the net. He waits, he looks, he's trying to see who he can give it to. He's got Costa here, pinching from the point. Shot by Costa, scores! Braden Costa through the final! He's done it with 3.1 seconds! By the coast, and they're able to steal this game from the from the Melbourne Ducks. So uh, there you go, that's the Let's Coast's go. first Look win in the series. And they'll be very, as you can tell, very Look excited out. about that, and deservedly so too. They played a particularly good they game. They want, yeah. And here's Rye, he wants, he wants, the, he wants the puck because this is the first win ever for this uh, for this club here in this in this league. So, all right, first win of the season was such a good game. Um, it's the first time the boys have really put it together like that and played a full full game of hockey. Um, same with myself. I feel like the last three games have probably been three of the best games I've played. Um, just I changed up my mental approach a little bit um, after the Adelaide weekend, just trying to dial it back a bit as far as being kind of invested in what's happening down the other end. So that's helped me out a lot. And as well, adding a little bit of positive self-talk um, during the game. Like I've always been fairly just calm, chilled out out there. And now I've just kind of added in a little bit of something to um, refocus me, you know, in between whistles and stuff like that. So um, I think all of that's kind of coming together now. And, and we've been so close, so many games. We've been one goal games, overtime losses, and could have gone either way. And it's just great that we finally got one across the line. Braden Costa with the absolute hero goal, three seconds remaining um, to win the game. Absolutely awesome. The boys were just, we've never, I've never been that happy after a game, I think for a regular season game. The boys were absolutely bouncing off the walls. But um, anyway, we're gonna head out to the cafe now, get some breakfast and then um, head over to the rink for the uh, next game. Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. Start of the day, boys. Feeling all right, feeling pumped. Tom's driving. Let's go, boys. You're here with your boy, Macca. kind of coming from breakfast slash lunch so got a little bit of time to kill still got about two hours before the game um, just gonna play extended suey ball over over the road hang out get in the sun warm up a little bit and then we're ready for game two baby Back to the 
point for Costa, who winds up, sends it back to Armani in front, scores! Power play goal for the coast! What he's doing. So here we go, back five on five, but the puck's with Costa. Nice poke check by Ruddle. And here he goes. So here comes Liam Webster, fresh out of the box, drops it for Ruddle. Ruddle shot, scores! Ryan Ruddle! It's certainly trending towards the, uh, the dominance there of the speed of the coast, but uh, the Ducks... Cutter intercepts it, now takes it into the corner, reverses it behind the net for Dixon, now in front shot! Where is it? It's in the glove of Thomas Moreau. Deep into the coast zone, uh, that's now Cutter out to Dixon. Uh, Dixon just shields it back to Robertson, takes a shot, it bounces off there, Cutter, shot in front, bouncing puck, save him, and reverse shot, scores! Dixon with the goal! Right in front! Real next goal from last night. Uh, the the coast defenders got cu caught puck watching, and if you look at that, Cole Clough. For Ruth, Ruth walking in, sends it over to Dmitry Kuleshov. Kuleshov, nice little move, in front shot. Oh my, off the post! Are able to get it out, and here comes Liam Webster. So Liam Webster here on the left wing, cuts wide shot, hits the helmet there, Monroe, and pops that off, and uh, and we have a whistle. But uh, despite not having a helmet, Thomas Monroe still able to keep the puck uh, keep the puck out of the net by Webster to find, to find Gallagher, who sends that into the corner, and he'll get there first. Puck now with Webster, winds, takes a shot, but flash on the leather is Tommy Monroe. He's got Bennett in the corner, who now will go in front of the net. That's a big body that's gonna wanna battle hard there with Goris, and that's where he's gonna stay. So Ryan Bennett in front of the net, battling with, with Goris. Puck deep now here for Cutter. Cutter's got McMahon on the point, and he finds him. Sends it over there for, for Robertson. Sends it in front, tipped by Lindell, covered there by uh, Monroe, and that was Bennett on the doorstep, giving a extra little pass there, trying to shovel it between the pads. Can't, can't move him. And it comes back here for Stringer. Now over there for Robertson. Robertson sends it, deflected, shot, save, pucks loose. Oh, and he drops his stick and puts his blocker on it, and Monroe makes sure there's not a third or fourth opportunity. We saw it down this way, <laughs> but the cup hugs up to Sushuma. Over to Bennett, and back to the captain for McMahon. Wine shot, off the blocker there of Monroe. Side, sent it to the point there for Goris. Goris walks in, reverses it back over for Costa. Costa has the puck into the slot. Shot scores! Keating Costa on the power play! Only goal scored so far since the first period was here. Power play goal by the coast. And here's Mike Tish in over to Kale Costa. Kale Costa shot! Scores! All hail Kale! Kale Costa with a go-ahead goal here with nine minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the third period. Look at that hit. Nice job by, by Sarah. That's gonna be a tripping penalty there to um, Tish. Walking around, using his speed, takes a shot, rings that off the iron. Here's Goris now dropping it for Tish. He walks in now, he's got Costa. He circles, using his speed, does it again, shot on, rebound, scores! It's in! So a shot with Tish, no one knew where it was. And when you look behind him, Dane Davis had to peel that one out. Uh, and again, just discipline the Ducks. They've got to stay out of the penalty box, and uh, they're now down by two goals with uh, only about six minutes to play. So Vrilnik in the corner where he does so much of his best work, finds Cutter in front, scores! Ryan Ruddle with the deflection, and they answer back after a wonderful play, and the flock have another goal for the Melbourne Ducks. With six minutes to play. What a pass by Cutter. And make no mistake, Ryan Ruddle. There was nothing at all that Munro could do about that one. It was just a, a, an undefendable goal. Stringer. So Stringer up for Koenig, who chips it up to Lindell. So here's Lindell now over the blue line. Comes in, shot. Oh, whoa, looking for the top shelf and just missed that high. So he comes in and he just fakes the shot and he just wrong foots Kuleshev here. Look, boom, and then walks around him. Look at that, little toe drag. And then he had the open net there up high. Just, oh, that was a save. So saved by Monroe. Hector Vrilnik battling with the coast player. Gets it to the point, out to Webster. Wine shot, deflected, shot scores! And it does, does it again! He scores with 24 seconds to tie the game! And it looks like we are gonna have another beautiful finish here at Ice HQ. We're still all tied up as just as we watch this shot. It's a beautiful shot from the point. Two deflections and then Dawes just there on the back door. <laughs> Tucks it in unmarked. Webster who just made a beautiful shot, deflected there by Ruddle, and uh, quick hands there of uh, Dawes able to get that in and puts the puck in the net. What a 
What a finish. That's going to stun the uh, the coast a little bit. Slip. Kale Costa now one on one on Vronik, and he's got Goris. Kale Costa winds across. Shot! Scores! Emil Costa! They've done it! The coast have stolen the series. Two games to none this weekend. What a weekend. Not only do we get our first win of the season, but we followed up with an overtime winner on the Sunday. The team played so well all weekend, like just putting together two games of 60 minutes of really, really, really good hockey. There's two goals that kind of stand out to me. The first goal on the first day, it was a dish in, um, got redirected from going to my glove side to my blocker side. Went over to that guy that was, that was on the blocker side and I was kind of expecting him to just kind of get it and shovel it up, or he had the lane to actually grab and cut in front. So I kind of thought that he might have done that and, and came back and cut in the other way just because he had the room to do it. But he just got a little deft touch on it. I swear to God, he must have only touched it so, so, so lightly. I thought it was probably going wide if he hadn't have got it, but um, obviously he just redirected it enough in to be just inside the post. Second goal that I wasn't too happy about was second game. It was either the first or the second goal. I can't remember which one. They came rush up the ice with two guys, a two on two. Their guy came in, got checked by our guy, put it back to Ryan Ruddle, um, guy that's been playing really well on their team. And he got it to his backhand, protected the puck really well, and just shoveled it backhand through my five hole um, as he was kind of being pressured by a defenseman. I kind of don't really know like how I didn't save that. Um, I guess I must have just read it wrong off his stick or his body language or something. He was falling over as he took the shot. And I feel like usually um, if somebody's falling over like that and they've got enough leverage on it, they usually put it high. Uh, at least that's what I've noticed. Um, but no, I just slotted it in through the five hole. After that goal, I throw my head back. One of those kind of like, oh my God, did I really just let that in? Um, I should have had that one. But other than that, the rest of the goals were pretty good hockey goals. They were moving me laterally a lot. Felt like I was tracking the puck really well on a lot of those lateral plays. Um, I, I felt like I didn't really give up anything like on a first shot mostly. Most of most of what went in was either a deflection or after a couple of rebounds. So I felt like I played two good games uh, all in all. At the same time, like just getting those wins, getting them on the board. I feel like we worked hard enough the weekend before against Adelaide to get wins. Unfortunately, we lost that game in overtime on the Saturday and then only a 3-1 loss on the Sunday. We definitely worked hard enough to, to get wins in those games, but we just didn't put it together quite enough. And now we've proven to ourselves in back-to-back -back games, we can put it together against the best team in the league. Teams that have so much more experience than we do, like we've got so many guys that are like between 16 and 21, I think like more than half of our team fits somewhere in that age group. And we've only got a handful of us that have played AHL or, you know, somewhere overseas. Whereas the Melbourne team, pretty much almost everybody on that roster has played AHL at least. And then they've got a few guys that have played played elsewhere in the world. So um, as far as that goes, I felt like our work ethic um, and, our, and our speed really won us those games. So coming out with a five of six possible points in that weekend, we couldn't really ask for much more than that. One thing that I think we've really learned in this season, and um, you know, it's a bit of a saying is, You've got to learn to hate losing before you can learn to love winning. This season, with us, with our group, we've definitely learned to hate losing. And this weekend was just a really big release, like emotionally, more like just as much as anything else. Just getting that monkey off our back and knowing that we're not out of this competition yet. There's more than enough time to come back from where we've been the first few weeks getting losses and um, put pressure on other teams and eventually make the finals. So it's great to take that first step in that uh, journey. And we've got a bit of a journey ahead of us, but we're really confident coming out of this weekend. Anyway, guys, that's all we got time for today. I am going to run the shirt competition for one more week. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I am going to include this video in it as well. I am going to give away a Skaters Network shirt, this one up here. Go over to the Skaters Network website, have a look at all their Skaters Network branded stuff. There's heaps of different colors and sizes. I'm going to give one of those away uh, to one of the commenters in last week's video and this week's video. So if you commented last week and you comment again this week, you get two entries. Let me know if you like this kind of format a bit better where I'm not doing as much of a breakdown of every single goal on the weekend. More talking about things that I've come out of the weekend with maybe a couple of goals that I want to look at again or I can learn from. Just a little bit more general rather than really breaking it down technically. Make sure you let me know down below because I don't know what you guys are thinking. So um, I just want to bring the most entertaining and best stuff to you that I can. So I'd love to know and you know be able 
able to give you guys what you want. Anyway, that's all from me this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.